Hi to all, welcome to my second class on visualizing solid shapes, class 8, chapter 10. In this class, I am going to discuss mapping space around us. You may be much familiar with the maps of the countries in lower classes. In geography classes, you may be asked to point the stage in a country, rivers, mountains, etc. How do we read maps? What can we conclude and understand while reading map? What information does a map have and what it does not have? Is it any different from a picture? Let us try to get the answers of all these questions. Look at the map of the a house. Here is the house and this is the map of its house. What can you see from this? Here in map, we drawn everything original. As you see the reality, you can draw. But whereas in map, it cannot. You have just drawn the sketches of it. That is, when we draw a picture, we attempt to represent reality as it is seen with all its details, whereas a map depicts only the location of an object in relation to other object. And if a person is looking in front, he can draw the picture of this house as given here. But whereas a person is looking from this side, how will the picture look like? It, it will be extremely different from this picture. But whereas in all the cases, map remains same. That is, perspective is very important for drawing a picture, but it is not relevant for a map. Now look at the map drawn by a boy. It uh, depicts a route from his house to his school he has drawn many things nearby is it clear or can you say how far the school is from his house or what all these shapes represents by seeing this map you cannot identify what are the objects shown in this map or how far the school is from his house and all. But another bird drawn the same from his house to school in this way. From this you can very easily identify how far his house from this school. Yes, it is 1 plus 2 plus R. That is 3 and a half kilometers away from his school. And what are the objects he is seeing while walking from his house to school? There are many shops. These figures are represented by the shop. His house is represented by this image or this picture. Here, many symbols are used to represent many objects or places. Here, is a pond, this symbol is for hospital, this symbol is for post office, etc. is used. And you can see the distance that also by the segments, the here equals segments represents one kilometer, almost double of that segments it is represented two kilometer and half of it is given as this distance is given as half kilometer. That means while drawing a map, a proper scale also used here. Now, while reading this map, you can answer some questions. How far the hospital is from the school? Yes, of course, it is one plus half, one and a half kilometer. How many shops are there in between his house to the school? You can count it from here and say 
one, two, three, four, five, six shops are there. And you can see if the shop is near to his house and it is, this shop is very far away from his house. But the same size of the symbol is used for representing the objects near to his house and far away from his house. That is the, that is the one thing you have to take care of while drawing a map. All the symbols of same size can be used whether it is near or far. Thus we can summarize a map depicts the location of a particular object or place in relation to other objects or places. Symbols are used to de depict the different objects or places and there is no reference or pers pers perspective in, ma in map that is objects that are closer to the observer are shown to be of the same size as those that are farther. Here is exercise 10.2. Do yourself. That is all for today's class. Have a nice day.